and welcome to the format with your boy Matt Jackson bringing you all the news and everything you need to know about wrestling boy let's get it let me talk to you uh dummy yeah anyway we're talking about we're gonna be talking about ring of honors final battle 2021 hour one now i'm about to go ahead and talk about hour one just in this video and then i've got to go back and i've got to go and watch um final battle because this is the final pay-per-view They're talking like this is the final, final, final. This is it. This is done. Like, Ring of Honor is over with. I don't know. I think what they're doing is they're going to close the doors down. And the next thing you know, they're going to open them back up with new talent. And, uh, the, like, you know, and I don't know. So, I don't know what's going on with Ring of Honor at the moment. But I know that it's closing. they saying it's the last, the last pay-per-view and everything like that. I saw, uh, I saw Hour 1 so far. I watched that on YouTube last night. Um, but... I loved it. Uh, it was good, good show. Uh, so I, I don't really know, but I know that it's ending, and I don't know if it's coming back. So uh, I hope it comes back. Um, but anyway, so it starts off first match. Um, and it starts off with Ring of Honor. Uh, final battle um, is the Righteous, which is Vinny Marcellia, which is one of my one of my favorite. Favorite, favorite wrestlers, like I love him a lot. Vinny Marcellia, Vincent Bateman, which I love Vincent Bateman, and Dutch. That's uh, they just got Dutch, I guess, in the group. I haven't been really keeping up Ring, on, Ring of Honor that much, but I, I try, you know. And they and they're going for the six man tag team titles um, that Shane Taylor Promotions have. I know one of the guys' name is Moses, but I don't know the rest of the guys. I'm not familiar with them, but it's, it's the guys that work for Shane Taylor. Uh, which I do like Shane Taylor. He's pretty good because he was with Keith Lee at one point and they were a tag team. So I really like them as a tag team. The match was really, really good. There was a lot of cool spots. Uh, I liked um, Vinny Marcellia's ring gear was really dope. He reminds me of like a Charles Manson type thing and I love it. Um, and Vincent Bateman obviously loved the way he was dressed too. He had a Vinny Marcellia shirt on with like this black kilt or whatever. It was really dope. Dutch, he looking like a redneck, but it's all good. Uh, great match, great six man tag. Um, um, I think you know for the for the most part the matches that they actually had on this pay per view are matches. This is a show you really want to see because it's the last show, and so they're putting the best names on here, you know. And if you're thinking, well, Dan Housen's legs broken, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Okay, yeah. But we'll just go ahead and say it now. Dan Housen. You know, he can't wrestle, obviously, if you're a Dan Housen fan. Well, Dan Housen can't wrestle. His leg's broken. Um, but he will be back in that ring sooner, sooner, sooner and later because he really wants to get back to work. But he's still working. He's still doing all these things. But anyway, we're not going to get stuck on Dan Housen at the moment. Uh, we got more things to talk about. But after that match, you know, you've had backstage stuff with Jay Lethal's promo, Jonathan Gresham's um, promo. You had uh, Rocky Romero uh, showed up. And was talking to uh, Violence Unlimited, which is uh, Brody King and uh, the other guys. And uh, so um, they get to talking and stuff like that. So uh, I guess we'll have to see when I watch the actual pay-per-view or whatever. Uh, but the promos went really good. Jay Lethal talking about, you know, how he's been there for a long time. And, you know, um, you know, um, Tony Khan allowed him, since he's on the con con contract with AEW at the moment, that he said, yeah, you can go over and do Final, final Battle, which... Uh, Jay Lethal uh, wasn't didn't I mean he was like okay if like he got the shot to be at Final Battle but it wasn't like in his head because he was like trying to start over in another company so he didn't he didn't know he didn't, you know he's like if they have a spot for me they have a spot for me if they don't then it's fine but of course you can't have Final Battle like the actual Final Battle without a Jay Lethal yet you you know there's a lot of names that you could not do it without without you know so then the next match that uh had came up. Well, Jay Lethal, I'm going to talk with the, well, 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 let's don't talk about the match yet, but uh, Jay Lethal's promo was really good. Uh, even the Jonathan Gresham one was really good, and how he said he deserves it uh, to win and stuff. And that match happens on um, the second half 
the, the pay-per-view part of it. Uh, well, they're both pay-per-view parts, but the second half of it or whatever. And it's Jay Lethal versus Jonathan Gresham, I think, in the main event of the whole show for the old Ring of Honor, original Ring of Honor world title. And I thought that was, like, crazy as hell. And I think that if you win these belts, you're taking them home and you're keeping them because they put the original on the line. So if Jay Lethal wins, he's going home with that title, and I think he's keeping it forever. Um, so really cool parts in between it. Um so, um, then the next match was the Allure. The Allure is made up of Mandy Leon and Angelina Love, which I haven't seen Angelina Love in a while, and it's really good to see her again. Uh, and Miranda Aliz, or Lisa, Aliza, Aliza, something like that. Uh, she had a mask on, but she took it off. Uh, anyway, they went up against a team called The Hex, which is my girl, Marty Bell, and Allison Kay, and my girl, Chelsea Green, which is... Matt Cardona, a.k.a. Zack Ryder's soon-to-be wife. Um, so, we all love Chelsea Green. So, Chelsea Green, if you ever hear this, uh, we love you, girl. Keep your head up. Keep doing what you're doing, because Chelsea Green, you are the future. You always have been, ever since you were the hot, well, you're a hot mess still, but ever since you did Laura Van Ness and you did these other, you know, I loved it. So, I've been your fan forever. Um... Same thing with, like, Angelina Love. I love her a lot, too. Uh, Marty Bell, Allison Kay. These are really top-notch uh, chicks, or women, of the uh, wrestling world. Uh, this match was really good. Um, but, oh, I didn't say. Uh, the, the Righteous won the first match. So, Vinny Marcellia, Vincent Bateman, and Dutch, they won the six-man tag. Sorry, I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to do that. But they won that match. Anyway, so the, the, the women's match, uh, the Allure, Mandy Leon, Angelina Love, and Miranda Eliza, or whatever, they won the match, um, great match, um, y'all just have to go see it, I'm not going into details, I'm just sitting here talking about it, giving you my opinions, all that stuff, and, uh, y'all need to go back and watch it, it's on YouTube, uh, you know, hour one, go watch this stuff, it's really, really good hour one, and a lot of stuff happened within the hour one, it was only, what, three matches, but there was a lot that happened, um, so after that match, you know, then the Briscoes, the Briscoe brothers, uh, them damn boys, they sit and they talking about how they've been there the whole career, ever since they were a kid, all the way up until grown men. So I, that was a really impactful and well thought out, well planned like promo. And it went kind of deep, and it was talking about how you know they've they've been in Ring of Honor over twenty years, or either it was straight twenty years. I'm just gonna say over twenty years because it could have been like a year. Over and they're talking about their 20 years in the career. They started when they were kids. They were both bald and had no facial hair. You know, so they were skinny little boys. And they had nothing going on for themselves. But they've always been a tag team. And how the Briscoes have been there their whole year, whole their life. But this is the end. A new beginning can begin. And I thought, you know, that's pretty nice. Because we'd like to see the Briscoes continue. I'd like to see the Briscoes go to AEW and face, like, you know, the, the Lucha Brothers or something like that. It would be pretty dope. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens with the Briscoes. Um, and then there was an EC3 backstage segment with EC3 and stuff. I don't remember exactly what he was talking about. But then we get to the next match, which is a wild card 10-man match. 10-man tag match. It's a wild card 10-man tag. And, uh, you're sitting there and you're getting ready to watch it. The commentary is talking. And the next thing you know, Dan Housen's music hits. So his music hits is, uh... His entrance video hits. You're like, oh my lord, Dan Housen's coming out here. What's he gonna do? He's got a broken leg. And he sits down for commentary in gimmick and just talks in gimmick. He's straight gimmick or straight character or whatever. And he's commentary on this match. And this match was. Anyway, the, tire, the 10 man tag match is the Bouncers, Beer City Bruiser, Brian Malonis, Cheeseburger, Flip Gordon, PJ Black, which is. Uh, Justin Gabriel from WWE, or used to be, versus LSG, which no one cares, Demonic Flamenta, which is cool, Will Fahara, Sledge, and Max the Impaler, and Max the Impaler is a woman, uh, but she's tough, as like, she's tougher than any man, though, she is, she could beat anybody's man's ass, tell you that much, anyway, so I love Max the Impaler, this match was really freaking good, there was a lot of cool stuff that happened, Flip Gordon, I mean, not Flip Gordon, Max the Impaler, like fighting Beer City Bruiser and um, tricking everybody about Brian Malonis and the Beer City Bruiser tagged in and got in and started beating up Max Impaler. But 
then she got out and tagged in Sledge, I believe. I can't remember. But that match was really good. Um, and that was our one uh, final battle. And the 10-man tag was crazy. I mean, for our one, they really put in a lot of people. I mean, that's six there. That's six. That's 12. That's 22 people on the show. You know, plus all the backstage uh, stuff and all that stuff. So I, I thought Ring of Honor was really good. Anyway, so Final Battle was really good, uh, 2021, Hour 1, um, really great stuff, like, just everybody in the ring and everybody that had a match in that Hour 1 really cared about what they were doing, and it wasn't like, let's just go out there and hurry up, you know, it was really good, it was stalled out, really good show, um, and, uh, anyway, that is, uh, what I thought of Ring of Honor, uh, Final Battle, uh, Hour one. The next episode that's going to be coming out on Russell and Matt YouTube channel, the format episode, the another format podcast. We'll be talking about MLW um, Fusion Alpha number 12, December 9th, 2021. We'll be talking about that because we got to talk about that a little bit. But anyway, so that's the next episode. And I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this episode, me talking about hour one. And, um, and when I go to watch uh, the rest of Final Battle, the pay-per-view, I will be talking about that too. So, and like I say, like, subscribe, share, and uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up another, be uh, another video. And uh, that has been the format, and the format is out. See you, bye.